What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today to do a quick review and demonstration over Analog Tales and Analog Nightmares by Karanyi Sounds. Um, basically, these are two separate synths for Contact 6 player, so you will have to have the full version of Contact 6 in order to use these. They are currently on sale. Analog Tales is currently $19 and Analog Nightmares is currently $14. Uh, make sure if you guys like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But let's go ahead and get right into this review. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So Karani Sounds did hit me up and ask me if I did want to check out both of these since after I recently completed a review on Mini Pool, but they did not ask me to give a weighted opinion. So everything I think about this synth is my personal opinion. Um, basically, when you open up the plugin, though, it is going to look like this in your contact player. So it's pretty cool. You see this knob here. Um, there's four different modules. So this knob basically blends the left side of the modules and the right right side. Um, so once you click into the plugin, it's going to look like this. Um, this is the bass sound. But as you can see, there's different modules that you can add. Um, so boom, and it's just basically, um, you know, different analog modules and stuff like that. So they got different sounds. So, you know, the more stuff that you add, the more the different the sound is. Um, so let's go ahead and take it to the first preset. Um, the first preset is basically a base preset. Now, once we look at this um, plugin, you see there's a whole lot going on. Um, so with this plugin, what's cool about this is they have a smart randomized feature down here at the bottom. And I want to cover this first because this is a nice feature. So this feature basically um, randomizes each of these different modules up in here or different things in the module. So as you're looking at it, this right here makes your waveform either a pad, a key, a bass, or a pluck, um, which is kind of cool. And then you're looking right here, this um, randomizes each one of the modules. So as you look here at each circle, um, each circle, you know, obviously this is gonna randomize this module. This is gonna randomize this module, this one, and this one, so on and so forth. So then as you look here, this is gonna randomize your LFOs. This is gonna randomize your filter. This right here is gonna randomize in the top two modules, Dimension, which is also Ensemble. And then down here, this is gonna um, randomize your delay. Um, so you can see your delay here. Um, this is going to randomize your space, which is your reverb. Um, this right here is going to randomize the tone on each level. And then over here, you have a couple other controls. This controls your master filter, and this controls your master tone. If you hit the orange one, it randomizes the features and all the plugins. If you just hit one single square, it's just going to randomize the feature one square. So this is an 80s type synth. I made a little beat as always. It's a super synth wave beat. Of course, it's not all the way mixed down. I'm going to go ahead and run that real quick and then we'll get right into the plugin and get into more of the sounds and stuff like that. All right, guys, so that's the little sample beat that I put together for you guys. Let me go ahead and pull this right back up. So the first one we're going to go through is Analog Tales. Um, and I'm just going to kind of briefly go through a few of the sounds, a few of the features. I did a review on Minipool card in the corner where I went through all the different controls because their synths are similar in the control functionality. So if you need a deeper dive, you can go ahead and check that one out. With this, I kind of want to go through more of the sounds so that you can hear what it sounds like since I'm going to be talking about two different synths in this one. Um, so the first synth that we have here is this bass noise. So 
So um, if I was to click on um, this button right here, it's gonna take me back here. Now let's say I hold this down. So you can hear how it changes. So like I said before, um, it's basically focusing on um, which side of the synthesizer and which modules that you wanted to focus on. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next sound. That's pretty solid, you know? So that's some of the basses. Let me go ahead and uh, go into some of the other sounds. So let's go ahead and hop into the module here for a second. So with this one right here, um, as you see here, um, you have different controls like I kind of mentioned briefly earlier, but when you're looking at it up here, um, you have your panning, um, you have your gain right here, and then you have your ADSR controls, um, whatever this is clicked on. So if this is clicked on orange, um, it's your filter. And if it's clicked on blue, then it's going to be your gain as far as your ADSR. Um, in order for the filter to work, you do have to have this filter button on right here. Um, and you can control those LFOs pretty easily. Next to that, you have dimension. Um, you can mix your dimension in, obviously. You only have dimension on the top two modules, and then you have delay in that same spot on the bottom two modules. Um, and then you have your reverb right next to that. So you can change the reverb on which actual patch you want it to be on. So like, let's say you don't have it on any patches. It's gonna sound like. But then if you throw it on one of the patches, you can hear it kick in just a little bit. Um, you can obviously turn up the time and the size, the stereo, the mix on that if you want to. Um, and then you can add the reverb in to um, blend it in with each patch as you want to, and it'll all sound good musically. Um, then underneath that, you see you have your LFO right here. Um, you have um, next to here, you have your tone right over here. Um, so this is basically your EQ. I forgot to mention, you also have a wow up here as well. So it's like a, a tape flutter, a tape wow effect. Um, now let's go down here to the bottom. Now, if I come down here to the bottom and I hit one of these randomized buttons, so if I hit this one right here, it's gonna make it a lead, I believe. If I hit this one, it's gonna make it a key. So you can hear the difference. If I hit this one, it's gonna make it a pad. And then if I hit this one right here, it's gonna make it a plug. So that's pretty cool. And then again, you can randomize all these features. Um, so down here, you see if I hit this randomize button, it changed all of the different patches. So I'll hit it again, make sure you pay attention to the patch names real quick as they all change. So you can hear how the sound is completely different. Pretty cool, you know, change it to a lead. It changes the way that it sounds. Um, right here, you can change, obviously, the filter and the LFO. So that's cool. 
Um, and then down here, you know, I can change the uh, filter again as well. Um, I can change the ensemble. So if you look up here, it's going to randomize the way that the ensemble sounds or the way that it looks. Boom. So you see it changed them all. Let's go ahead and turn it on, though, because it's not on, but it'll still randomize them even if it's not on. Um, and then also next to that, we have uh, the delay. So I can change the way the delay sounds. Let me go ahead and turn the delay on real quick. Boom, bam. So this is what it sounds like before. But now if we hit that randomize button. So you can hear it's changing the time of that delay. Um, next to that, we have the reverb button. So let me go ahead and turn the space on on all these modules again real quick. Um, so boom, if I hit this randomize button on the space real quick, it's going to sound like this. So we can change it again, randomize. So you can hear how it's giving it that huge reverb. Obviously, you can dial in the reverb, however it is that you want to. Um, right here, we have the tone. So, you know, you can see it changes the tone knobs. And then right here, we're going to just hit this button. Boom. And it just changed everything because that was the master um, randomize button. So it changed all the parameters, whether it was a filter, whether it was the, the patch, the reverb, um, the dimension, all that other stuff. And see, that's a pretty interesting uh, little texture, a little, little sound it just gave us. So let's go ahead and go back into some more of the presets. Um, I want to play a few more of those before we get over to Analog Nightmares, because I want to talk about that one as well. It's going to have the same interface, but it is going to have some different sounds. And it's like a little darker of a synth. So it's still going to be like an 80 synth, but it's a little bit darker in the sounds. So let's go ahead and come back over here to Keys and Plucks. Let's just go ahead and pick one at random. So as you can hear, it's got a pretty thick sound. So, you know, a little pizzicato. Solid. Go ahead and pick a couple more of these um, keys and plucks at random. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just hit uh, the sequence alarm. And as you're looking here too as well, <clears throat> there's four different designers on this. So the initials next to the designer is the person that created it. It actually looks like there's like seven different designers on this. So seven different people designed um, all these sounds on this patch. So let's go ahead and check out some leads.
solid lead right there. All right, so then we got a bunch of pads too as well. And so I don't know if I mentioned, but there are a hundred different presets in this one. So you're getting some solid sounds. Like a lot of these pads are very fire as well. So I'm just gonna pick a few more at random um, and then we'll just keep going. Super cinematic. Guess it's got the right name, right? Um, Super Fire. And what's very nice about this as well is I can't stress it since it's got like four different oscillator levels, you can pan stuff in different directions. So like with that last one, or it's probably the same with this one, you can hear the pad, the different layers of the pad in each different ear. So that's just solid. So it's got a bunch of pads as well. And then I'll just go ahead and briefly go through. It's got some soundscapes and stuff too. So the soundscapes are pretty dope. Super thick. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and move on over to Analog Nightmares now. Um, so when you open up Analog Nightmares, it's going to look like this. It's got a similar look. Um, you know, obviously it's got a different background, um, but it's got the same one knob where it blends the different um, patches together. Um, and then it's got the same functions and features as the other one as well with the randomizer and all the different effects, the LFO control and all that. I made, today you get two sample beats. So I made another sample beat as well. Uh, this one is not mixed down. Um, I just put it together for the sake of the demonstration. Um, I was going for a synth wave fill, but then it ended up turning into kind of a synth wave boom bap mesh. Fusion, I don't know what you want to call it, but here we go. All right, guys, so that's the second little beat I put together for you guys. Let's go ahead and open um, Analog Nightmares up. Uh, so boom, again, it's gonna be a contact player library. I'm basically just gonna go through a few of the presets with this as well so that you can hear what they sound like. Um, the presets in this one are a little bit darker and they are broken up by the creator, which is kind of cool as well. Um, so this is the first preset that we have. Uh, let me go ahead and open it back up. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, so it sounds pretty dark. Um, but a lot of these presets in here are going to sound extra dark. That's why it's analog nightmares. <laughs> Super thick. So super cinematic like if you're trying to make some like horror music or some dark melodies or stuff like that this is perfect for that um you know perfect So let's go ahead and go to another creator real quick. Um, so we got this 80s pulse. Sounds like somebody's screaming in the background. Super nice. You know, perfect for some horror movies. So we'll go ahead and check another creator real quick as well. Um, boom, let's see what you got over here. Matt, what you got for me, player? I feel like I'm in the 80s.
All right, guys, so that's basically both the scents in a nutshell. Um, again, Analog Tales is currently on sale for $19 and it does have 100 presets, while Analog Nightmares is on sale for $14 and it does have 90 presets. Um, for me, I think they're pretty nice sounding soft scents. I think they did a good job of emulating, you know, that 80s sound in these scents. As you guys may or may not know, I've been doing more synth wave beats on the channel, so I'm definitely going to add these to the repertoire um, of course the beats this always could have been mixed a little bit better but i just wanted you guys to hear what the raw sound of those synths sound like before i did a whole bunch of editing and eqing and all that other stuff so uh, make sure if you guys like this content though you drop a whole elbow on that like button hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video you can be the first to see appreciate you guys this time as always and i'll catch you in the next one peace all right guys and gals thanks for watching the video uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, some, some. Hit the key.